Hello everyone, this is Akai, and welcome back to another episode of Fun Day Sunday, and this is going to be a replay in the Lightning. Unfortunately, I have yet to actually receive this ship, uh, for whatever reason, RNG or Wargaming in general does not like me, so I've yet to actually receive this ship. This is actually a replay uh, from WoW's replay uh, of the Tier 8 British DD, the Lightning, and this is Captain by Jaeger 5, I believe it is... 5-2-2, and apparently this battle is supposed to be a very close finish, so we'll see how this goes. This is going to be interesting. So once again, Lightning has been kind of a thing I've yet to actually really get to really have the opportunity to see. So at the moment, you can see, uh, at the moment there are actually no high tier battleships. Tier 7 is the highest, uh, with obviously quite a few DDs. You coast triple Cossacks on the enemy team with an Icarus and a Gade, uh, while the friendly team has a Benson Lightning and Z23 and two Icaruses. Uh, but most most importantly uh, is the fact that there is no there is a CV in this battle. Now, apparently, this battle actually has some really good team play, which is something you unfortunately don't see all too often, which is very unfortunate on um, in this game because just for the most part not a lot in the way of team support so lightning as you can see is very low detect 5.5 kilometer detect and it's a fairly fast and nimble ship definitely looking forward to getting my hands on it uh, anytime soon and the range on torpedoes is yeah, semi semi decent eight kilometers not super amazing by far is definitely more of a torpedo boat uh looks like jaeger is being very aggressive he is pushing quite heavily into the enemy hipper and any moment now possibly is going to get those torpedoes off don't know if those torpedoes are actually going to hit i think the hipper is way too close to the island but you can definitely see that he is in the middle of the map and at the moment, it is quite heavy in the decap. So we'll see what he does. Now, most importantly, the Lightning is very similar to the Tier 7, the Jervis. In a lot of ways, the third turret does face forward. So it's 360 degrees. So that makes it very, very strong when pushing in because you are able to kind of limit uh, how much side you are showing to a enemy DD and really focusing on those torpedoes very interesting choice he is finally spotted uh, does begin opening up on the enemy lightning or enemy gade sorry hooks him down and this is the major issue is wow I actually just now realized even the first two turrets uh, are 360 looks like he is going to get the kill on the enemy gade right there that is his first kill of the game and at the exact same time the friendly team has lost their Edinburgh so both enemy teams have lost the ship but obviously the most important thing the enemy team has lost destroyers Cossack is now being focused on and decent range on the guns 12.2 kilometers uh, kind of arcing which is kind of semi normal with the British DDs Benson is not focusing the Cossack. What the heck? I have no idea why this Benson is not focusing this Cossack that is apparently just a few kilometers away from him. And Cossack gets away uh, fairly free. And at the exact same time, the enemy friendly team has lost another ship. Uh, but they have managed to pull back, taking out the enemy Alba, which is very beneficial. And Cossack is once again detected, focusing down that Cossack is predicting he is going to speed up and something you definitely have to keep in mind with these British DDs is they do accelerate very very quickly and it doesn't look like uh, Jaeger is actually running at priority target decent choice I know some people will argue uh, against having priority target uh, to each his own and doing pretty good damage against that Cossack I'm kind of curious what captain skills he does have on the ship. Should be able to take out this Cossack. Cossack does pop his smoke, does go invisible, but goes down to Jaeger. 
That is his second kill, but at the exact same time, the friendly team has lost another DD. They have lost their tier 6 Icarus. And for the most part, the enemy team has control of A, B, and D. And at the moment, really haven't seen a lot in the way of enemy planes. I'm actually very curious where the enemy CV's planes are. Because that could mean that he might be going for a snipe. Because right now, honestly, this is the best matchmaking for a CV player. Low tier uh, battleships and not a lot in the way of anti-DD. Uh, anti C anti planes anti AA. What am I trying to say? I'm trying to say AA ships. That is what I'm trying to say. I do apologize, but it does look Jaeger did get a hit on the enemy Bayern. Uh, is being careful because that is a Edinburgh and Edinburgh will chew up a DD relatively quickly. So it is getting turned back around. Looks like Bayern is trying to turn back away. So at the moment, the enemy team is definitely ahead in points, even on the ships. Though the enemy team has lost the majority of their DDs. And things are still a little tense. Looks like he is trying to get into a position to fire. Does pop his smoke generator. And once again, this is the British DD smoke, which does mean that it will not last for very long. Does pop his hydro does realize the Edinburgh is coming around and is focusing. Now the torpedoes seem to reload a little bit quicker. I wonder if he is running a reload focus or torpedo focus captain, which is very interesting. I'm actually very curious because for the most part, as far as I know, the British DDs are primarily a gunboat, especially against other destroyers. This Edinburgh is going to get focused down. Does switch over to AP. See if this AP does a little bit better. Decent ish damage, not a huge amount of damage, but it does look like the friendly Baron does take out the Edinburgh, which has allowed the friendly team to get a little bit more points. And does look like the friendly destroyer is starting to cap A. And this is actually the first time we've seen the enemy CV's plane. At least I've seen, at least I've noticed. And we do know where he was last located, but the enemy team does hold the decap with relative strength. And that is going to be the most daunting task is trying to push into there. But once again, the lightning with that very low detect is very strong. Very strong indeed. And I'm actually going to go ahead and turn on a couple more rings because I'm actually very curious. So detectability error is 3.1. Semi-decent AA guns. And Hydro is still that lousy 3km. Now, does look, the enemy Kosak is finally spotted. He does focus on that Kosak. Kosak does slow up and pop smoke. Probably a little bit too close. But hopefully this friendly Baron should be able to dodge these torpedoes because they were spotted for quite a bit of time. Looks like he does dodge at least one, two... And three and four. So uh, friendly Baron is okay there, but unfortunately for Jaeger, he is going to get spotted by these planes. And it's curious whether or not the Cossack is going to uh, start focusing. I'm actually very, very interesting. The Cossack doesn't actually turn his guns on uh, any of the DDs that are currently spotted, but instead is focusing the Baron. Uh, not probably my first choice, to be perfectly honest. Cossack is finally spotted, and of course, the smoke has dissipated. Shoots the salvo a little bit low. Gets a semi decent hit there. And looks like the Kniza now actually manages to take out the enemy Cossack and has brought the enemy friendly team uh, back into the points favor because at the moment. They are about to lose their Lexington. Lexington is going to get focused down. He is burning and unfortunately goes down to the enemy Cossack. Now things are obviously not in the friendly team's favor because they are of course short of a CV, which does mean it do will allow the enemy CV free reign. And it does look like the Lexington is running the AP die bombers and is probably going to focus down the Gneisnau or the Bayern. It does look like the Gneisnau is being the main focus. 
And it does look like Jaeger is doing the more intelligent thing as pushing into the B cap and maybe even trying to find the enemy CB. That would be an option to go with. Though they do have to be careful just in case the enemy team does decide to push uh, into C and start going towards uh, the C cap. And enemy Lexington is finally spotted. Now this Lexington I think probably could have started moving out a little bit sooner. Uh, it probably should have pushed further east and south a lot earlier, especially considering knowing the location of the enemy ships. Because at the moment, it, uh, Jaeger could very easily push against that Lexington, but he is gonna try to hopefully cap. I'm actually very curious, yes, he does look like he's kind of turning in, trying to wait f for at least the uh, cap to take effect. Unfortunately, the friendly team has lost their Bayern. And at the moment, all the left, all that's left on the friendly team is three destroyers, a cruiser, and the uh, friendly Gnais now. And the friendly cruiser is a Dallas. So things are a little bit dangerous because it does look like the enemy team is being intelligent and they are supporting each other. Uh, they are grouped together. Uh, obviously, the Lexington is at a very, very major disadvantage, and they have just lost their Gnais now. And the enemy team is making the right choice, pushing into the sea caps, try to take that back, because at the moment, the friendly team is down almost 200 points, and there is still 8 minutes left in this game. So it does look like Jaeger is going to go after the CV, and does look like the two friendly DDs are pushing south, trying to possibly reset the sea cap, or take care of of the KGV and those two cruisers, but obviously most importantly taking out the Cossack would be very very important. Now Jaeger does call for the DCAP to be uh, focused on because that will allow them more points, especially considering the enemy team is starting to take C and it does look like Jaeger is going to be the pester here, going to focus down this Lexington. Decent reload rate and I'm gonna bet that he does focus on torpedoes rather than guns because it does seem like the reload rate's not overly impressive. I mean, it is about five seconds. Does get a fire on that Lexington. Lexington does go ahead and knock out that fire. Probably going to try to launch some planes. Does look like some dive bombers are incoming. But the Lexington is such a big carrier that it's not overly difficult for it to actually do actually to land shots on it and the fact that he is running dive bomber armor piercing means that for the most part most of the damage is going to be over penetrations and very very minimal now if Jaeger is smart he will try to show a little bit more broadside to these dive bombers uh, but instead it does look like he's just gonna eat these dive bombers let's see Enemy CB does miss that shot. Main main issue right now is going to be the enemy torp planes, which are trying to drop his the torps. Let's see, Let's see how good this CB is able to drop torps on a DD. And once again, keep in mind the lightning is a very nimble uh, destroyer, uh, but those torps were way way too far, not even close. To really pose a much threat gets another fire on this Lexington this Lexington is dead honestly Jaeger could actually start pushing south and just start pulling away instead of continuing pushing that's probably what I would recommend this Lexington has finally gone down and he has earned arsonist that is kill number four and during that time they have just lost their Dallas but they have managed to capture D and once again hold a three cap advantage over the enemy team. But they are still 100 points below the enemy team and there is about five minutes left on this map. Does look like the enemy CB did leave his fighters over the D cap. We'll try to spot those destroyers for his friendly team. But the situation is going to be very important because they overall don't have impressive firepower, especially against with guns. 
main focus is going to be on those torpedoes. But if the enemy team are being intelligent, they'll actually split off. One is currently over at A, more than likely is the enemy Cossack. And probably another group should be pushing towards D. Now, once again, keep in mind, uh, things are still very, very much in the favor of the enemy team. They're still heading points, and they are starting to take back another cap. And does look like the Z-23 has smoked up. And the Icarus is dropping torpedoes on the enemy Hipper. Now that the Hipper is smart, he'll probably be a little bit leery and probably should be running Hydro if he does have it. Let's see if these torpedoes actually will land. It don't, does not look like it. Is he actually going to eat these torpedoes from the friendly Icarus? Now, Jaeger is actually doing a really good job in chat. Uh, is talking with the team. And is trying to coordinate as much as possible uh, with his friendly team. Now... Main focus probably will be trying to take out the enemy Hipper. Icarus, I think, has actually managed to beach himself uh, in is in a very dangerous position. It does look like the Icarus has popped uh, his smoke screen. And look at this. The enemy team is doing a really good job. They're pushing into another cap, pushing into the B cap. And Jaeger is going to get possibly spotted. Is he just going to barely dodge? Yes, he barely, barely makes it out there without being spotted. And gonna drop torpedoes. Let's see if these torpedoes are good. Has to be careful of that hipper. Hipper does have hydro, but it could be possible that the hipper's hydro is down. And unfortunately for the Z-23, has just run up against the New Orleans, but honestly, the Z-23 should be fine. Should be able to take out this New Orleans with little issue. Torpedoes are inbound. Actually, is he going to get another kill? That is a moment now. Actually, very curious. There he goes. Earns high caliber and confederate at almost at the exact same time with those tor two torpedoes. Does reset the base. The hipper is very low in health. Honestly, at this point, he could actually just open up. Focus down this hipper, get rid of him. That should definitely help the friendly team with their point situation and also help out the Icarus as well. Uh, but another major issue is going to be the KGV. New Orleans is going to get focused down by the Z23. Z23 has taken out the New Orleans in a moment now. Should hopefully take out this hipper. This hipper is doing his very best to stay alive and does look like the KGV has actually shot at him. And now he's actually the one being focused. This hipper is actually being very, very good at staying alive. Does get hit, but not enough damage to actually take him out. And it does look like the Cossack does a very smart thing by providing smoke for his friendly hipper. And at the moment, the enemy team is ahead in points and caps. And this situation looks very, very dire at the time being. C23 is pushing towards C. How are they able to how are they going to be able to actually pull this back? That is a very good question. There's only a minute and 15 seconds left on the timer. Torpedoes are an option. Could very easily take out the KGV, but he does have to get within eight kilometers. And at the moment, Hipper more than likely. How how is that Hipper still there? Hipper should have been running. But instead, he has obviously stayed in place, which could quite possibly mean that the end of this hipper very wisely opened up. Not enough time on this map at the moment. Can they take out the hipper? There we go. Kill number four. And Cossack is oh, really probably should have focused down that Cossack. Gets hit by the KGV, switches back to guns. And here's a key tip. Use shift. It's a lot quicker than using your scroll mouse. Does focus the Cossack. Very smart choice. Does pop his smoke screen. Icarus is spotting. There is Kraken Unleashed. Very close. That has brought them back ahead in points. 
KGV is actually reversing. Unfortunately, these torpedoes aren't going to hit. The timer is going to run out. And that is actually going to be a win for the friendly team. So not a bad battle in the lightning. Great to actually see it. Definitely looking forward to actually getting an opportunity to play this ship. Uh, did, I believe, 144,000 points of damage. That last torpedo just got him another 10,000 points of damage on the very last second. Earn Arsonist, Confederate, High Caliber, and Kraken Unleashed. So very, very nice game provided by Jaeger. And that is it going to be it for this battle. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what you saw, hit the like and subscribe button. You guys have a great and fantastic day. Zai Jen.